Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, thank you for coming through. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm just going to walk through the uh, planner boxes I made last week, so let's get into the project. All right, y'all, so I'm measuring from, I'm gonna use this little shelf as a help. I don't know what it's called. I'm not an architect or whatever. But trying to measure the match up where the brick ends and begins on either side of the window with these planner boxes. And we're gonna have three boxes underneath these three primary windows and then the special bay window wherever it's called is going to be by itself it's not going to have any i think it will look weird anyway so that's a good call on kayla's part all right y'all i just realized um i figured out about the bottom of the uh box you know the part that holds everything together so i'm gonna need probably what another third of what i got so probably another board i only got three boards um, but each box is going to be like 40 feet, 40 inches wide. So we should be good, but I know I'm going to have to go back, but it's okay. I'm going to just do as much as I can. Do as much as I can until I got to run back to Home Depot. But we're going to get started soon. I got pizza in the oven. Then I'm going to get to work. Okay, so... We have to go back to Home Depot, get more boards. If I would have measured beforehand, I would have known that I needed a longer board, but I didn't. Um, these are six foot, I need eight foot. Um, and I'm gonna do the math on it and see how many eight foots I need, but 40 inches. I need three of those each. That means I need four eight foot boards. Yeah, y'all, so I went to Home Depot blindly without knowing the actual like sizes of the boxes I needed to make. Um, I just went in the morning because I wasn't at Kayla's and got something. But um, Farmhouse on Boone has all the instructions. They use eight feet, uh, pieces of board. Um, so that's what I ended up getting. And um, they had pretty much all the tools. They only did one box though, I did three. So it's a little different, but still the same thing. They're gonna give you the same basic instructions uh, besides a couple of differences. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Time to put some boxes together. Yeah, y'all. So get that wood glue, put it exactly where the uh, two boards are going to meet in that contact spot. Um, then you have to size out the end pieces. And then you're going to pre-drill so your wood doesn't get split. Okay, hold on. Let me turn off that model. Okay, I'm only filming this one, y'all. Today's gonna be three identical, and I wanna just get to the work and see how much I can get done tonight. And now all I have to do is the back. But this is the box, so to speak. Kayla and I were having a discussion about the, uh, what's some things called, the trim. I realized the trim's gonna have to be cut around these edges, so I might have to go and like get the measurements and have them cut it at Home Depot so I can get that uh, 45 degree angle because it wouldn't be possible for me to do it now. I just, nah, wouldn't be possible. Yeah, y'all, so with these drainage holes, I kind of went in like a zigzag pattern to try to, you know, cover as much surface area as I can without drilling too many holes into the wood. Um, you can also just do a basic grid pattern, I guess, but I feel like this would be sufficient enough to let water flow the way you really need it to flow. All right, hello y'all, next day. Um, I don't know why these things so big. Finishing nails. And I'm gonna try to cut at an angle with a regular hand saw or whatever this thing is called versus a, a, a miter saw like the instructions say. But right now, all we have to do Oh crap. It's um, trim. We gotta do trim. And then, I mean, it's like sealing it, conditioner, paint. And then we gonna mount them up. It's so nice, like, out here. Look, I already Like, it feels cool out here. Okay, so we got all the Hey, Kevin Garnett said anything is possible. I started using the handsaw, doing my best. I made a little template. Um, but this is real tedious. 
if you have a miter saw or have somebody that you can borrow or go to Home Depot and make the cuts, it'll be the best thing. Oh yeah, that's fire. Hey, like a real DIYer, I'm jerry rigging um, using these this painter's tape <laughs> as my clamp just to hold the wood in place just enough for me to apply the nails. Um, they worked good enough. I was able to get pretty level, pretty flat. Um, it just took extra time. All right, y'all. Remember to always use the tools you have at your disposal. This miter saw, I thought it would only be able to like cut straight, but it looked like I can cut, try to cut at an angle. Um, but I need to try it out because I'm just getting inconsistent cuts and my arms are getting tired. As I mentioned y'all, a miter saw would be the best deal, but you make it do what it do. Um, so I mark my holes um, using the drill bit. And then as far as making the holes early, I drilled them. I didn't show you guys, but I just measure halfway up through the back. And then I uh, try to get, you know, three consistent and evenly spaced holes. You know, you just divide by four and then you know where to mark your holes at. So. All right, so you always want to make your hole a little bit tighter than your actual bolts. Um, these masonry screws I got, they are uh, actually like the wider, I don't know what the little thing is called, but it got a little lip on it. I wanted something that can grab the wood a little bit better. Um, that way it's just not screwed in and then, you know, the, I don't know, the wood's just falling through it. It's actually going to grab the inside of the back of the uh, box and hold it really well. Okay, so in the tutorial, they actually use um, bolts and nuts. Um, this is a brick house, so I had to use masonry screws, but if you look at the tutorial, you'll see how they were able to do it a little different. It was a little easier for them, but the socket wrench worked. I was able to help me get in that tight space of the boxing. I have done my pot. I gotta remove the left. Okay, y'all, I did my part, like I said. Um, I actually <laughs> flew back home to St. Louis for the weekend, so I wouldn't have been able to follow up, but um, you're supposed to seal the inside, I guess, outside of the box to protect it from the elements. Um, in the tutorial, they use cedar because it's supposedly, you know, um, I guess, more durable to the elements. Um, but Kaylee's the exterior paint. I think they'll be fine. They're kind of covered by the uh, the overhang of the roof in this situation. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think they look good, especially with the shutters and the house, the whole color combination. It's real coordinated. Um, so that's all props to Kayla. Uh, I'm going to leave links to Kayla's video and the tutorial down below. Um, you guys, we've really been working hard outside on this exterior makeover. So her new video will be dropping on Sunday at 2 p.m. I hope you guys tune in. See you.